that violent confrontation at Lincoln High School exclusively last night on Eyewitness News. Since then, we have learned of more violence there, and the school district is facing some tough questions. Like that. We're told this fight was over a boy. The result, a female Philadelphia police officer injured trying to break up the fight, and at least six girls arrested. Then on Monday, police sources tell us another fight broke out after school, and on Wednesday, four adults snuck into school wearing Lincoln uniforms to try Try to settle an unrelated argument. I attend school at uh, Abraham Lincoln High School. Are there a lot of fights in your school? Yes, there's a lot of fights in my school. Well, the, uh, the term that we use for fighting, what the, the students call fighting, is assault, simple assault or aggravated assault. So of the suspensions, about 40% are rega regarding some sort of conflict, um, whether it's an argument, an assault, verbal assault. Hi, my name is Anthony Lopez. I guess fighting was fun when you was at that age. It was just a fun thing to do. <laughs> oh, you get mad and, no, I'm going to punch somebody. You're like, oh, no, it was just something to do. Um, I guess my third fight was probably the worst fight because uh, I was already older. I was in college when it happened. Uh, got into a fight over a dumb reason. I guess you could just say male egos. I feel kind of dumb now as I look back on it. Um, I guess when I acted in the fight, it was more out of revenge. The most common incidents that we've had in peer mediation um, include um, rumors that have, uh, have been started. Uh, some of them have come through uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, miscommunications. She had this boyfriend for like a couple of months and they had broke up and he transferred to a different school and now she got a new boyfriend and she posted up a picture on Twitter. Um, and the ex, the ex commented saying, oh, you could do, you could do better. So her boyfriend seen the comment and he replied back saying, stop talking to my girl and said to fight him or whatever. So the ex commented saying that you can fight me on Friday. Uh, some of them have been racially um, motivated. Uh, where we've had um, black students versus Hispanic students, white students versus Hispanic, white versus black. Uh, sometimes Asian students get involved, but that is very rare. I think students in this school fight because either it's to solve their problems or just because they're bored. I got into a fight because I told her that not to touch me because I wasn't playing with her and she kept touching me and messing with me so I got mad and I told her to meet me in the hallway. And she didn't want to meet me in the hallway so when I saw her in the hallway I came up to her and I told her to fight me and she didn't want to fight me so I told her to drop your stuff and she didn't drop it so I took her bag and threw it off of her and then we wind up fighting. <laughs> So 
I would constantly get bullied by this kid and he would make fun of my looks, my race. It was dominantly an African-American school and my weight. Eventually it would get so tiring and bored that um, I really got very aggravated by it. No one was really there to defend me or help me. And um, we just got into a really big fight. He ended up going to the hospital and having to get surgery and I got expelled. I was mad before we started fighting and then after we fought, I wasn't mad no more. Did anybody instigate? No, but when I turned around, there was like 15 cameras in my face. Uh, lately, I've been seeing a lot of YouTubes, as in like just high school students just fighting and putting on YouTube. I guess it's the, the cool thing to do nowadays. <laughs> Sources say this confrontation outside Lincoln High School was so violent and vulgar, even YouTube would not allow this video on its website. It did make it onto Facebook, but has since been taken off. To be honest with you, I think it's kind of stupid. Um, and maybe those same kids, when they get older, they'll look at that video and say, wow, I was stupid. Because <laughs> um, at the end of the day, you're just hurting each other and you're burning bridges with friends that you could have had just by me fighting and them recording it and they're gonna put it probably on the internet. It just proves that, that that's entertaining to people. I think some of the things that motivate uh, the violence in the school are, uh, the main thing I think is what's going on in social media. Students like to post things on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I think in a lot of time, a lot of times it's just to get attention. Um, they feel like, you know, they're being ignored by their friends and so they feel like they need to say something and a lot of times they say things that are untrue or they're, they're putting information out there that shouldn't be out there, um, that their friends didn't want them to be out there in the first place. So we have one of the best peer mediation programs in the city. So many times students that have a conflict can work it out, talk it out. And that, that program has over a 90% success rate. I think the violence over the years has um, de decreased in the school because I, we have reached, um, this year alone we've reached over 200 students. Um, and I think those students are kind of getting um, the idea of how to resolve conflicts on their own. So I think the violence, the overall violence in the school has decreased. Um, basically I think people should be more positive and just work as a unit. Violence is overrated. Thank you.